What's going on everybody? My name is Monatui, coach of the Tampa Bay Luxrays, and today I'm bringing you guys our team builder for TBU Week 7 versus Rizzy Pow, coach of the Phoenix Sunflora. Check out his channel in the description below. Uh, he's a pretty good friend of mine, Jen's in my teams, Jen's in my teams all the time. Very nice guy. Uh, but this week we have to destroy him, and the team that we are going up against is pretty frightening. Uh, it will be popping up on screen now. The team we are facing consists of Megalodios, Clefable, Jirachi, Suicune, Nidoqueen, Snorlax, Tornadus, Houndoom, and Lucario. That is a very solid group of mons, and it's going to be very difficult to take it down. But I believe I have created a team of six that will be able to deal with it relatively well. So let us now get into his team real quick. Starting off, we have Life Orb, Scallopede, Jolly Max Speed. That is so that I can outspeed Tornadus by one point. I don't have to ever go risk going for Protect, or if he's Scarfed, I can guaranteed outspeed it after a Protect, which is really nice. Um, relatively standard, like the move coverage that this thing has just hits his entire team. It's a 2 KO on his entire team, except for the Suicune, but even then, Life Orb, Mega Horn will hurt it relatively badly, and I do have responses to that thing and then on my team, so we will get into those as we get there, but yeah, this is our Scallopede, like I said, very standard, Jolly Max Speed, Mega Horn, Poison Jab, Earthquake, nothing too fancy, nothing that crazy to go over. So yeah, that is our Scallopede, let us now move on to the next member of our team, a member that I have to uh, play around really very carefully, we have a Life Orb Zoroark. Now, this amount of speed investment allows me to outspeed... What does this allow me? Uh, this allows me to outspeed a Jolly Lucario and, uh, you know, modest max speed, or uh, actually, no, uh, rash max speed because I am running mixed with Sucker Punch and Low Kick. Low Kick is to mainly hit the Snorlax, but I also hit the Lucario as well. I can knock that out with a little bit of chip damage. Uh, Sucker Punch is just nice priority for his team. I can hit the Mega Latios before it hits me, can hit the Jirachi. Uh, can hit any, anything that's weakened, I can knock it out with a Sucker Punch, which is nice. Sludge Bomb is to, to a KO the Clefable, and then Dark Pulse for a general stab over his team hurts pretty much everything. He doesn't have great Dark Switch-ins, like Lucario is possibly to a KO'd, or Lucario is knocked out by Dark Pulse plus Low Kick. Um, Dark Pulse to a KO's most Nidoqueen, knocks out the Jirachi, or to a KO's the Jirachi, knocks out Megalodios. So Dark Pulse is just a very nice move for his team. Dark is generally good offensively regardless, especially paired with Poison and Fighting to just cover uh, Fairies and the bulky normal type in Snorlax. So that is our Zoroark. I'm going to have this thing disguised as Kieran Black just because something like Latios may want to come in, hit Kier or knock out Kieran Black, outspeed it, but I can hit it with the Sucker Punch before it gets off an attack on my Kieran, which is actually a Zoroark. So that is our Zoroark. Let's now move on to the next member of our team, we have Cresselia. This is a little bit of an interesting Cresselia set. Physically defensive, a little bit of split F to take on things like the Tornadus and the Nidoqueen, or the Suicune even, or even the Clefable. We have a Psy Shock, Skill Swap, Calm Mind, Moonlight, Cresselia, Mono Attacking, Psy Shock. Was originally going to go with two attacks, but I found Skill Swap to be a little bit more useful. Suppose he's an unaware Clefable, I can Skill Swap that thing, I can beat that thing 1v1 if it's Calm Mind, or even like Cosmic Power or something like that, which is nice. Um, even like Skill Swap onto Magic Art is really nice in case he's running Toxic on something. I can also uh, like Skill Swap immunity off of Snorlax and then poison that later on if that becomes an issue to my team. Uh, I can take on things like the Lucario, can take on things like the Snorlax, Bar Curselax, can take on things like the Tornadus, the Nidoqueen, can beat Suicune 1v1. Uh, I can beat the Jirachi unless it has Trick or something like that, or if it's just has any sort of, or if it has uh, recovery like Wish Protect just because I'm only running Psy Shock and I can't do a lot of damage to it can beat Clefable, like I said, and I can deal with the Mega Latios. So this is my Cresselia. Hopefully it puts in a lot of work. I kind of expect it to. There's not a lot stopping this thing from setting up. Uh, so yeah, that is Cresselia. Next, let us now move on to our Mega Blastoise. We are running Modest Offensive Blastoise with a little bit of speed to add speed things like Nidoqueen. So uh, our move pool. Or our move set, rather. Hydro Pump. I'm running Hydro Pump over Water Pulse or Scald because Hydro Pump is a guaranteed to a KO on Clefable unless he is running near max Badef. If he's more physically defensive, which would make sense for my team, then he will not be able to uh, take two Hydro Pumps and I'll be able to 2 a KO that thing. Dark Pulse for things like the Mega Latios, the Jirachi, uh, good neutral move against his team. Like I said, it's relatively weak to Dark. Aura Sphere is so I can get a 2 a KO on things like the Snorlax. I can Oko Lucario without having to risk Hydro Pump. Uh, it's just 
Especially Aura Spears is very important for that Snorlax, because Snorlax is a pretty big threat. Curse Lax is horrifying, and I will be able to 2 KO it no matter how many curses it gets up, which is nice. And then Rapid Spin, just to keep Hazards off my side of the field if he's able to get them up. Uh, because I don't need a, another move on this thing. I can just fill in Water Dark Fighting, and then Rapid Spin. Now, moving on to the next member of our team, Amon. I was kind of worried about bringing, because it doesn't have... Uh, I had four move slot syndrome with it, but I decided that this was the best set for his team. We're not running Earthquake on this thing, even though he does have things like Lucario and Houndoom and Nidoqueen and things like that, even Jirachi, his team's kind of ground weak. I needed U-turn so that I can gain myself initiative and so that I'm not completely vulnerable to things like the Mega Latios. Um, also just so I can like, I gain myself momentum into threats like my Scallopy, Blastoise, Zoroark, things like that. I wanted a rocker this match because this team is a little bit weak to rocks, not super weak, but it will weaken threats like the Tornadus and Houndoom, and his general chip damage over his team can find out if he's still Fable's unaware or not. Uh, Taunt, that's to shut down things like Curse Lax to stop uh, Clefable from setting up, can possibly stop Jirachi from setting up or throwing up Wishes, things like that, even though we'll outspeed me turn one, but uh, there's that. And then Roost, that's to keep myself healthy. I might swap out one of these moves for Earthquake, maybe Taunt, even though I really want Taunt. Just because I'm not super keen on having him on this passive only U-turn as its only attacking move. But hopefully I can use this as a successful bulky pivot and I'll be able to use it relatively successfully. So moving on from there, we now have our last Mon in Kirin Black. Uh, this is also one of the biggest threats to his team. I'm naive max speed. That is so that I can speed tie at worst with the Houndoom. Even though... Uh, not entirely sure if we'll bring Houndoom, it's definitely possible, and I don't want to be losing a speed tie to that in order to lose the game. So we're running Naive, Max Speed, Dragon Claw, Fusion Bolt, Iron Head, and Earth Power. Hit pretty much his entire team. Extra Belt, you've seen this before. It just absolutely demolishes his team. Like Dragon Claw onto Mega Latios knocks it out. Iron Head is an easy 2 KO on Clefable. Earth Power is a 2 KO onto the Jirachi. Fusion Bolt 2 KOs the Suicune. Earth Power 2 KOs the Nidoqueen. Uh, Dragon Claw is not a 2 KO on the Snorlax, I believe, but it is an easy 3 KO, and I do have things to deal with Snorlax, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, Fusion Bolt Oko's Tornadus, Earth Power Oko's Houndoom, and Earth Power Oko's Lucario. So it's just a gigantic threat to his team, uh, as it tends to be most weeks, especially because a lot of his team is relatively slow. Things like uh, Lucario, Clefable, if his Jirachi is not max speed. Uh, things like that, which are really nice. I can also live any hit from Mega Latios Bar, Dragon Pulse, or Draco Meteor just because I have a lot of bulk. In fact, I might even be able to live a Dragon Pulse, I'm not 100% sure, just because I am naive, so I don't think I can live it, but it is possible here, and it's still very bulky. Uh, but regardless, thank you guys very much for watching. I know this is a little bit of a shorter team builder, but everything's pretty much straightforward. Even though Riz has a very, very scary team, I felt like building for it with my team was relatively simple. Deal with his defensive threats with... Um, Combine Cresselia because it beats almost all of them except for Snorlax. I have coverage for Snorlax to take that thing on. Um, and yeah, just don't let things like Snorlax set up and I should be okay. Don't let things like Mega Latios set up if it's the DD Latios and even then I do a Sucker Punch on Zoroark. Uh, don't let uh, things like Jirachi become too big of a problem. Like I said, I have Sucker Punch before it can flint me to death. I have coverage for it on everything. Uh, and then possibly just clean up late game with Scallopeed. So thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you in the match.